Hi, I'm Cyborg Angel, a full-time Twitch streamer, and today I'm going to be building my dream streaming PC and showing you guys exactly how to do so as well. With the two most important, or shall I say, intensively used parts of any streaming PC is the CPU and GPU. So for the CPU, we're actually going to be using Intel's 8th gen i7-8700K and for the GPU we're actually using Aorus's flagship 1080 Ti Extreme Edition and for the motherboard we've got the Aorus Z370 Gaming 7. For my Windows drive I'll be using the Corsair MP500 M.2 NVMe SSD and for the gaming or the backup drive. So usually the place where you store all of your games will be using the Corsair Force LE200 SSD. So on this side we have our Corsair products that we'll be using. We'll be fitting 32 gigabytes of awesome RGB Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM into the system and the RGB lighting on this is going to go amazingly well with the LL fans and the lighting strips. And to power our system we're going to be using the Corsair HX 850W Platinum Rated PSU Unit and with this we're also going to be using the premium braided cables from Corsair as well. And because streaming can be so CPU intensive, the CPU can tend to overheat. So to counter this we're using the Corsair H150i Pro all-in-one CPU cooler. You also, as a streamer, have a ton of Elgato products that can help you with your streaming and making everything a lot easier. And we're going to branch on to that in a different video and show you what we can use and how you implement it into the system. And we're going to be putting all of this in the Corsair Obsidian 500D SE case. So I'm super excited to find out what the RGB and the full case is going to look like at the end of this. Let's get started. Once you are ready to place the CPU on the motherboard, you want to carefully open the socket by unclipping the retention arm and pulling the handle away from the board. Then remove the protective top and line up the triangles on both the processor and the socket. When the triangles are lined up, gently place the processor in the socket and lock the socket cover back in place using the retention arm. To fit the M.2 drive, unscrew and remove the heat shield from the motherboard. Test place the M.2 by sliding the drive into the slot just beneath the one the heat shield used. If the screws line up well, make note of where the securing screw was before removing it. After removed, hold the screw base firmly while unscrewing the small attached screw. Attach this base back to the motherboard where you noted before. Press the M.2 against the base and screw down the M.2 drive with the small screw. Slot the heat shield back in and screw into place. Push down on both sides of RAM clips until they pop open. Repeat this for all four slots. Line up your RAM module by checking where the gap in the clip is and push down firmly until it clicks into place. Repeat for the remaining RAM modules. Okay, so once you've installed the CPU, RAM and M.2, place the I.O. panel into the case and press firmly to click in. Now, place the motherboard into the case and line up the screw holes to the board. Screw firmly into place. Remember to position the fans with the airflow facing the right way. The Corsair fans will indicate the airflow direction via a small arrow symbol on the side. Screw into place. 
Remove the back of the case wire cover and unclip all the front facing fan cables from the Commander Pro, which is located inside the case. Remove the front of the case fan plate. Remove the fans from the plate and use the cooler screws to attach the cooler to the plate with the fans on top. So the airflow should be coming in through the front of the case and pushing through the cooler into the case. Place the plate back into the case and secure with the screws that were removed. Slot the cooler bracket into the back of the motherboard through the four holes around the CPU. Screw this into place at the front via the double-sided screws. Remove the plastic covering the thermal paste on the cooler. Carefully line up the cooler with the four double-sided screws. Once placed correctly, secure with the thumb screws, but make sure to do this lightly, going to the opposite corners for the next screw, instead of a clockwise or anti-clockwise pattern. This will ensure the thermal paste is spread across the CPU evenly. Also, remember to make sure that you've connected your USB cable to your CPU cooler. Remove the top fan plate and attach the fans with the airflow pointing up and out of the top of the case. Slot the top plate back into the case with the fans attached. Insert the Corsair premium grade cables into the PSU. Insert the PSU into the case with the fan facing down. Screw the power supply unit into place at the back of the case. Line up the graphics card with the PCIe socket. Make note of the two back brackets that need removing and then remove them. Okay, so that's pretty much all the components in place. Now for some cable management. But in my case, I'm sending this to Scan's 3XS experts to sort it all out for me. And as if by magic, ta-da! So here it is in all its glory. We've completely finished the build. The lighting system is insane. You can control all this amazing RGB with the Corsair IQ software. My favorite is Visor. Let us know what your favorite RGB profile is in the comments below and keep an eye on this channel for more from me and the series. All of the components and products used for Cyborg's dream PC build are available at scan.co.uk. And to make life easier for you, we've even created a scan wish list that contains all these products. You can also find this link in the description.